Okay, hello and uh, welcome to Vintage Tool Shop. Uh, my name's Mike and that is Murray behind the camera. There. Hi! So we thought we'd like to show you the inside of our shop and some of the tools that we have available. So if you'll walk with me, we'll give you a bit of a tour. Okay, we've got starting here, we've got some screwdrivers and hammers and wooden planes, mallets. Moving on through, wrenches, levels, some more metal planes. And over here, we've got some chisels. And literally, we've got hundreds of chisels, but uh, more on that later. We'll keep moving through. Uh, in this cabinet here, we've got a selection of uh, some bullnose planes, high-end spoke shapes, infill planes, heritage saws, of course, and then and then uh, moving on, <laughs> down this way, we have some more input planes, uh, carving chisels. We have a large selection of French planes here. We've got some plows and stem planes, English molding planes, some French molding planes, some very unusual profiles there too. Quite remarkable actually. And down further, more French planes, um, some unusual patented French planes. I mean, yeah, just quite unusual. So, over here we have some racers, hammers, one or two hammers, and more French planes. Some very early uh, Rubo style French French planes. Those are extremely old and we're very proud to have them in the store. Here we have some uh, Estonian folk art utensils and chairs and uh, yeah, they're also very old. We like old things. Right? <laughs> and over here some French axes, uh, larger axes, uh, a couple of draw knives, a couple of English planes under there mixed in with the French ones, corking hammers. And yeah, plenty of hammers. Can never have too many hammers, I say. Uh, a couple of large, we've got some French coupe mark axes. Uh, probably the most asked about item in the shop. People ask, what's that for? 99% they, of people say it's for beheading. Uh, yeah. Certainly not for that, it's for chopping up grapes, so yeah, cool. And then over here we have some freshly hand sharpened saws that we have in store, and that's the fantastic work of Jim Anderson uh, at Jim the Saw Man. If you want to look them up, he also does heritage saws. There's some very old documents there of Muddy's. That top one there is uh, circa 1662, would you believe, uh, written on vellum or scribed on vellum, I should say. And over here, we've got some metal planes, Stanleys, marbles, a couple of Aussie Falcons. Uh, so uh, quite unusual to the overseas watches. And in there, you can see Rocky the shop dog. Yeah, hello Rocky. And on our workstation here, we have more knives and sets, more axes, and some of our branded Melbourne made chisel rolls, saw bags, all made in Melbourne, local labour, Tasmanian leather, they're a quality product. And our shop aprons there, uh, also made in Melbourne, Tasmanian leather, good for carvers, sculptors, and woodworkers alike. Um, here's a selection of uh, some of the natural sharpening stones that we have in store. We've got Arkansas, Turkeys, uh, we've got Charlie Forest, uh, Lynn Edwell, some quite unusual stones. And uh, if you're looking for something special, yeah, give us a give us a call. Razor Hones. Okay, moving around. Got some more ancient French planes. And in this cabinet here, we have sharpening stones, drops. Uh, some very unusual tools in this cabinet here. Um, and just pull a couple out to show you. Some French uh, coachman's routers, they're always cool to see. And 
lovely hammers in there, some balls, which are really great for in the workshop, made by Tony Ralph, repurposed out of pool balls and SDS drill bits. Just fantastic. You're not going to lose those on the workbench. And yeah, there's some special old tools in there. It's good to have a rummage around and see what you can find in there. And uh, if you look on the top there, you can see some lovely carvings just here by Greg Hihir. He's a very good sculptor. And then back over here, we have in this cabinet here, uh, a large selection of awls, some gravers, glass cutters, a few leather stamps, padlocks, knives, and sharpening steels. And swinging back around over here, we have more chisels. And um, we've got all sorts. As you can see, uh, French antique, mortars, socketed, firmers, some bevels. And on the other side that you saw before, we've got uh, plenty of carving chisels. And more French antique planes. Uh, that's a beauty. Uh, shoot board plane. Magnificent. That's just all needs of the board. Mortise gauges, more braces. Uh, some fancy levels and marking gauges in there. Uh, freshly sharpened scissors. And yeah, yeah, there's something for everyone, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, we'd just like to say thank you for looking at our video and having a mini tour of our store. I'm going to do some other videos in detail uh, on specific tools and sharpening stones and saws and things like that. Please don't forget to check our online shop as fresh items will be added daily. And when I say fresh, I mean fresh old tools, you know what I mean? <laughs> thank uh, you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>